Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to show how I approach mirroring blend shapes and attributes when rigging characters in Houdini. Uh, there are always many ways to do things such as mirroring Houdini, so this is really just one of the ways to do it. So here we have a simple example. We have a simple default or base shape. We have a left side blend shape and we are going to use a point triangle to mirror to the uh, right side. Okay, so let's create our point triangle and the first input into, goes into the default shape, second input into our blend shape and First, we have to find our mirror points. So for each point, let's say, so first we find the mirror position. And to do that, we're gonna use a near point function. And now we have um, uh, the, the mirror point number, and now we just calculate the offset. So what we're doing here is first we find the corresponding uh, mirror point number, then uh, we check uh, what is the position of this mirrored point, and afterwards uh, we also check the position of the same point on the Blanchard geometry. Um, now we calculate uh, the offset of this different point So what we've done here is uh, we simply calculated how much uh, the, this deformed point is, um, has moved from its uh, default position and uh, we calculated the offset and added this offset to our point. So if this is our left side, our mirror side is basically just flipped. So uh, what is nice about this setup is that it actually uh, mirrors both sides, so it flips the geometry. So if you create an edit node and create just some simple random modifications on the other side of the geometry, uh, we'll see that um, the, this mirror points uh, wrangle will create uh, a nicely uh, also reverse edit on the original side. So now we can set up uh, our typical Blend shape workflow. Create a left and right outputs and connect them to our blend shape node. And let's see the results. You see that everything works nicely. So this is a simple way to set up a blank shape mirror setup. Um, here we have a different scenario. 
where we are uh, deforming by uh, point attribute. So here we have a simple fall off uh, origin of effect of our deformer. We're going to use a simple transform SOP. And here is a um, point triangle uh, that based uh, on this fall off deforms um, our geometry. So this is our left side and, how, and we want the same setup on the right side with uh, mirrored fall off. Uh, here is very simple, but if you would paint and all that, it would be nice if this fall off uh, and everything would be mirrored. So uh, let's create a setup uh, for this. Uh, we're gonna again create our point triangle, connect the fall chip and the second input into our fall off. We're gonna just copy the fall off attribute. So what we did is basically just uh, see uh, what the, the mirror point fall of value is and copy it. For this setup, I'm going to just copy it and reconnect uh, to the, uh, these new inputs. And let's see. Okay, so now we have the other side. So again, this we uh, will be done automatically so whatever you do on this side will be done also on this side if there is some complex deformer uh, we will connect for instance pivots and things like that could be uh, could be uh, made a relative reference and create a negative so we are just changing the values um, so let's also finish this setup the right deform blend shape and then we have a blend shape which would which would be set up in a usual way and then we have um, these two wrangles that dictate uh, how much each site is deforming So then if we change this fall of attribute, we see that we are changing it for both sides because it's mirrored. Uh, here we have a normal uh, post based deformation network that Codini lays out for us. And here we have um, post based deformation that uh, makes a correction when the shoulder goes up and to mirror this deformation onto the from the left to the right side uh, I set up everything normally for both sides but when I create this uh, geometry edits I create it only for the left side and then in the right shoulder post space edit I uh, reconnect a few inputs so I create a mirror blend shape as normally and merge object create an object merge for the left shoulder edits, which is this, and then just uh, create a mirror blanch from the rest shape, and uh, that's pretty much it. So this way, I only have to create these edits for the left side, and they are uh, done automatically also for the right side. Uh, this is it for this simple tutorial about mirroring blend shapes. Um, I hope you find it useful and uh, hope to see you next time. Bye bye.